Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Nick Driver, and you're watching Wrench TV. So I've had people ask me just over the just over the years, and be like, all right, what was the difference in the music scene there in Raleigh, North Carolina? Uh, you know, in the early 2000s, late 90s, as opposed to, you know, 2018. And, man, I'll be honest with you, it, w it was vastly different, like, different here in Raleigh. We had, uh, you know, I started about 96, 97 playing shows. But, I tell you, man, uh, it was a lot more violent for artists. In my opinion, it was a lot more violent in the late 90s, early 2000s than it was like right now, 2018. And I, but I, I think I see that across the board, you know. And I think it's a, it's a good thing that stuff's kind of calmed down. You know, everybody thinks everything's crazy right now in 2018, but it's not as bad as it was. I mean, you had, I mean, you still want to have people getting shot, killed, and stuff like that, but. When it comes to the music, well, the, the scene completely shifted, first off. So, now in Raleigh, North Carolina, you basically got this pretty big acoustic slash jam band scene. And you got a couple metal bands here and there. But you also have a pretty healthy hip-hop scene. Um, I work with a lot of the hip-hop artists. And I go out and play my acoustic shows um, on the weekends, you know, so... But yeah, yeah, when it comes down to it, um, a couple of the big differences to me, uh, and I can only speak about Raleigh during this certain time frame because that's the scene where I kind of came out of. You know, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, I would see fights constantly at shows. I mean, people would go to each other's shows and like, like literally fight each other over something like crazy, man. Over like crazy stuff. I, Remember seeing a guy pull a gun on a guy one time. I'm not gonna call anybody out. <laughs> but I remember seeing a guy pull a gun on somebody one time and a guy took the gun from him and hit him. And I was like, wow, man. Like, there's some there's some hard people out here in the world, man, you know? I mean, it's just, it's just, it's crazy, you know? But I think in 2018, I think people are a little, I mean, you're gonna always have people on social media that like running a mouth and stuff like that, but I, to me, it was a lot more violent in the late 90s, early 2000s. But we also had a heavier music scene back then. Like the music scene was like hard rock, punk rock, you know, and a lot of these dudes came from very poor backgrounds. And just the psychology of it, you know, automatically, pitted against one another so but the one big thing I see different is you have like Raleigh's got a lot more and the surrounding areas have a lot more to offer artists now um, but you have to be good you know to get those gigs because it's leveling up every year so in order to be you know featured at playing a place every month you have to really be bringing your A-game, like, in and out if you're in the acoustic rock scene, jam band scene. As far as the hip-hop scene, you know, a couple good dudes out of Durham, a um, couple uh, people I've worked with out of Nightdale and Wilson Mill, Smithfield area that are doing good, too, and also Raleigh. So I think it's a pretty healthy scene right now. It's, it seems like to me... People are getting along more. I know in society, like everything's like crazy if you watch TV. <laughs> but I do feel like overall, you know, like it's a lot more peaceful. Now Raleigh, Raleigh was kind of tough there for a minute um, in the late 90s, early 2000s, and even up to about 2005, 2006, it got it could get a little hairy outside shows. I saw a lot of fights. It started dampering off about 2006, 2007. I saw less and less and less of that stuff. So, 
you probably had a new crop of people come in that didn't really dig that so but yeah I mean the it's Raleigh's got more venues now than it's had in the past uh, people are always gonna have like you know nostalgia you know and think that the past was better but I mean those people that suck back then too so yeah man All right, you guys have a good one <laughs>